Okay, so we're going to look at some complex analysis and we're going to find the principal key root of 8i, positive 8i, and signified here key root. So how do we go about finding the key root of 8i? Well, first thing we can do is we can uh, quote Euler's formula. So Euler's formula will tell us that we have cosine theta plus i sine theta and that is multiplied by the modulus of our point. So our point here is 8i. So let's draw that up on the diagram. So that's the imaginary, that's the real. So 8i is going to be on the imaginary, so it'll probably be somewhere around here. That's our 8i. Now to find the modulus of that, we just go from the origin to the point and work out the length of that line. Well, as there's no triangle involved and no Pythagoras, we know that r in this case is going to be 8. And our angle, theta, is just going to be pi over 2 because it's a right angle. So that's pi over 2. So now what we have is, so for this point, 8i, for getting the cube root, we have 8 times cosine theta, which is pi over 2. Let's just write that here for you. Cosine pi over 2 plus i sine, and then the angle, the input on both of these is going to be pi over 2. They're always the same. They're never different. Okay. But now we want the key root. So what we need to do now is we just do all this to the power of one third. Okay, so that's now going to give us key root of eight. So we just say eight to the power of one third. And now with these angles, what we do is we multiply them by one third. We don't raise them to the power of one third. The angles are always multiplied. So we do it like this, cosine of one third times pi over two plus i sine, and again the angle will be the same, one third times pi over two. Okay, just simplifying that up, we can just say that that is pi over six. So of course that one is going to be pi over six. Okay, right, cosine of pi over 6. Let's just write that out here. So cosine of pi over 6 we know is root 3 over 2. So we get that from our unit circle. Bang. Let's do sine. Sine of pi over 6 from the unit circle. That is 1 half. So now as we know the values of this we can plug in the, the uh, solution there. So cube root of 8 well, that is just 2 times 2 times 2, so that's going to be a 2. Cosine pi over 6, root 3 over 2. And then we add i for the imaginary part, and then sine pi over 6 equals a half. Okay, now just one bit to simplify. We can distribute this 2 to both. And then that will give us our answer of root 3 plus plus i put one i but just put i is fine and that is our principal cube root of cube root of positive eight i